Right now, we're a few seconds before parachute deploy. We're coming up on our SUFFER maneuver. That stands for straighten up and fly right. All the swinging cats in the team love a little Nat King Cole and Frank Sinatra, and that's a favorite song of ours. Here you're seeing us moving a little over a thousand miles an hour, and we're just getting ready to remove our ballast masses that we've used to develop lift previously through flight. We're getting rid of them to straighten up and prepare for heat shield separation and for parachute deployment. We're also rolling the vehicle to an attitude where the radar will be able to lock up most effectively on the ground as soon as the heat shield is released. Now we've deployed the parachute. We are slowing down dramatically. That's at about 800 miles an hour, Mach 1.7 at Mars, and it gives us about a 12 G deceleration. Here we have a split screen view. On the left is a computer simulation driven by eyes on the solar system. And there's heat shield separation, and now you see in the right hand of the screen the view from directly below the rover. We're now looking with the MARTI imager at the surface of Mars in a new way. We get some black sand dunes underneath us there, and that red, iron-rich soil that gives Mars its natural color. The attitude that we have is governed by the trim angle of attack of the parachute, and that slowly walks around, so it gives us sort of a tour of the neighborhood where we'll be landing. And now, as we've turned over more, the sand dunes are not as centrally present. They're off at the edge of the image, and we're looking more straight down at where we're eventually going to land. We saw a lot less attitude disturbance than we thought we were going to. You can see sort of a little bit of motion in that Marty image, just a little bit of motion in that Marty image. And so we go from that 800 miles an hour rapidly down, now we're running at about a little under 300 miles an hour. We're very happy with this nice sort of calm view of the ground as we slowly approach. Now we're moving at about a little less than 200 miles an hour, and we're coming up on our separation of the power descent vehicle and our transition from parachutes to rockets, and that should be coming, and there it is. We're now under powered flight. You see that the motions of the vehicle become a little bit more smooth through the Marty Imager, but you also see that we start some big slews. Those are slews associated with the attitude excursions during the divert maneuver. We're getting out of the way of that parachute and back shell, so we slew first to one side, then to another side, moving at 32 meters a second, straight down. Now we start decelerating, that kicks up the dust. We're slowing down to just under two miles an hour. And now about 60 feet, we separate the rover and you'll see, boom, the wheel come into view in the Marty Imager. That means we're in the sky crane mode and we've deployed the mobility. Now we're just continuing down at about 1.7 miles an hour gently towards the surface. We're kicking up a little bit of dust. And now we're quiet. As far as the rover knows, nothing's happened, but at this point now, the descent stage has started to fly away for its impact with the surface. Once the dust settles and we deploy our instruments, there you have it. A new picture of a new place on Mars.